We're back. Hello and welcome to the show. Look, um, it's been a crazy couple of weeks and I can't say anything that hasn't already been said. All I can maybe do is give you a laugh or two in the next six odd minutes. But don't hold me to that because this show usually sucks. With that disclaimer, let's get started with the week's absurdities. Father of the year, Yograj Singh got in front of the media to talk about his son's engagement. <coughs> Attention ho. <coughs> While telling everyone how happy he was, he also squeezed in how Hazel Keech would change Yuvraj's luck and get him back into the Indian cricket team. Dude, she's his wife, not a Nazar Suraksha Kavach. And also, stop acting like Yuvraj was some Ranji level player. He's the reason Stuart Broad still goes to weekly counselling sessions. LK Advani may attend Nitish Kumar swearing in as an insult to the existing BJP hierarchy. Look, I don't think this is an insult. I think he's just really old and confused. Has someone had a conversation with him recently? Does he know he's going to a swearing in ceremony? Or does he think he's attending a birthday party? Just check with him once. In what has to be just one of the coolest things any company has ever done, Ola has launched boats in Chennai to help flood victims get from one place to another. I mean, to be fair, Uber also sent out boats into the city, but sadly, the Uber boats were running with a 5x surcharge. Subramanyam Swami claims that he has proof that Rahul Gandhi is a British citizen. Look, Dr. Swami, I understand how you feel. Ugh, never thought I'd say that. I feel like I need a shower right now. The, the point is, I get it. It's embarrassing to have Rahul Gandhi walking around with an Indian passport. It makes us all look stupid by association. But you can't just randomly claim he's a British citizen. First, you have no solid proof. And second, why would the British give him citizenship? Have you met this guy? Dr. Swami, before saying anything else, I think you should go out and get some evidence. Or you could do us all a huge favour and get him a British citizenship. For our top story, we're going to talk about tech startups. You may know the term startups from statements such as, No, no, I'm, I'm not unemployed. I'm working on a startup. Yeah. The startup craze in India is big, and here's proof. In the coming days, Startup India and Base Ke Bhavish Ke Liye, Stand Up India. Startup India, Stand Up India. You know something is big when it has its own Narendra Modi approved slogan. Chai, domestic production, and now your shitty dating app. But the startup craze is also batshit crazy. You may have heard about this. Tiny Owl co-founder Gaurav Chaudhary was allegedly held hostage for the past two days by the employees in Pune who were laid off by the online food ordering startup on Tuesday. <laughs> yes, one of the co-founders of Tiny Owl was held hostage for almost two days because of layoffs. Although, and this is true, those same employees did take him out for dinner. Which is nice and all, but if they really wanted to mess with him, they should have ordered in with Zomato. Zomato has a lot of food options. Let's eat something. I know you're a hostage and all, but eat something. It's weird though, because Tiny Owl recently received a fresh round of funding. As did Zomato, who laid off 10% of its workforce. And Housing, who may end up firing 200 people on top of the 600 people it's already sacked. That's horrible job security. That's as bad as being a BJP MLA in Bihar. Of course, sackings aren't the only issue. There's also the maniacs that this field seems to attract. Take for example, the legendary Rahul Yadav, who aside from being the ex-CEO of Housing.com, is also well known for needlessly trolling other CEOs on Twitter. He, in the space of about six months, resigned from the company he built, took back his resignation, gave away all his shares, and then got fired. To his credit though, he also wrote the best resignation letter of all time. That resignation letter said, I don't think you guys are, and I'm quoting here, intellectually capable enough of having a sensible discussion anymore. This is something which I not just believe, but I can prove uh, so, to your faces. So, don't lie. Every single one of you wishes you had the guts to write that resignation letter. Now, things aren't all bad. There's Uber, which is a $51 billion company. A $51 billion company that has never turned a profit. Anywhere. 
ever and even by conservative projections won't be profitable for a really long time. Oh wait, there's Ola, which just got $500 million in funding, but on the basis of what we've discussed, they're probably going to start firing people. Uh, so if you work at Ola, it's time to update your LinkedIn. Look, let me put this simply. Should you start a tech startup? Sure, and it's really not that hard. Step one, get an awesome idea. Or just take someone else's idea and change the color scheme a little bit. Step two, get a venture capitalist to give you a ton of money even though you have no business model and no plan for profitability. And finally, step three, piss all of that money away. And then repeat step two. That's our show. Thank you so much for joining us. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel. Share it. Sorry. My Uber's here. I gotta go. Thank you so much for joining us. If the world doesn't end, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.